For some rappers, it's really difficult to not fall in love with a stripper. And for one businessman in Asia, it's really hard for him to not fall in love with a porn star. Now, there's a porn star um, in in Asia by the name of Rola Misaki. And apparently she is um, mixed. She is half Japanese and half Russian. And she's very, very popular in Asia. Um, in fact, she's one of the top porn stars in China. And so there's this mystery businessman who feels the need to save her. In fact, he has offered her $8 million to quit the porn industry for 15 years. Now, it's really difficult for you to get back into the porn industry in 15 years, so she's pretty much done if she takes this offer. And it turns out she has taken this offer. It is not known what her duties will be as she performs this new job for this businessman. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> so uh, they were recently seen holding hands in public. He was wearing a mask. Reports say the man works in the porn industry and owns a lot of property. I don't really know what to say about this. I mean, she's been given this opportunity and this, she has the choice and she's made her choice and you have to respect that. But at the same time, even though it sounds really, really good to have someone take care of you, the reality is you're not really an independent person when you have that kind of person in control of you. You know, you feel like you owe them something, they can decide whether or not you can do certain things. I don't know what their agreement is, so maybe that's not the case. But if someone came to me and told me, hey, Anna, I'm going to give you $8 million and you're going to work under me, as long as you quit TYT, I'd probably tell them to fuck off. <laughs> Just keeping it real. Think about it for a second. Though. $8 million <laughs> is a lot, but here's the thing. I. I I'm going to be real with you. $8 million is appealing, right? And I make nowhere near $8 million or $1 million or, you know, what people would ex right. expect a host to make, right? Yeah. But at the same time, I'm happy, mm -hmm. I'm comfortable, and no one has any control over me. Right. Yeah. That's a good feeling. Yeah, that's priceless. Yes. Drew, that's make your point. Sure. Um, yeah. I kind of agree with, I mean, $8 million is very, like, enticing, but not having the freedom of being able to do what I want and go and I'm controlled by this for 15 years. It's not like yeah. one day. It's yeah. like, you know, but I'm, my thing is, I don't know what she's doing. I, I mean, she's probably done enough in the industry that whatever she's doing with him is probably normal, I'm guessing. That's what I, I don't know. I don't know what else extreme you could do. Yeah. But, um, I mean, it, good for her if she, she's happy, if that's what makes her happy. But I would, like you said, I wouldn't, I'd have to think about it a long time. Long time. I'd have to yeah. really ponder. But yeah. Francis, what about you? I think like this is going to redefine what gold diggers are out there looking for. This is like gold giving. Like right. yeah, just like here you go, there's the money. But uh, mm -hmm. I agree with what you said. Is like we don't understand the motive behind it because mm -hmm. he's given her this money. What happens if he just wants her to continue to do what she's doing in industry just with him? Yep. And she's just paying another eight million dollars and uh, and so she can continue what she's doing in her career, but solely for him. So it's kind of hard until you get the the broader context of it. But I wouldn't want to be paid a significant amount of money to basically stop me from doing what I've been known to do. All right. Yeah. So the question we had prepared for you guys was, would you quit your career if you married someone who wanted to take care of your every need? You guys kind of already answered that, so I'm yeah. going to twist the question oh, a little no. bit, okay? So you're both right. men. Um, I know that you're already right. taken, Francis, but I'm really curious to you know hear yeah. what you'd say if you were single. Okay. All right, so if you had the option of two women, all right, one of them had the means to take care of you and one of them didn't, who would be more appealing to you, Drew? Um, well, there's a lot of other things that go with it, though, <laughs> I think, for sure. I mean, she has the means, but she could be just annoying as hell. I can't yeah. understand her, so I'm going to yeah. obviously go with... I think that I would always go with the person that... I, my, I mean, I would, my, my mom always like, just go with your gut, and I would just go with my gut. Like, if I, the girl has the means and I like her, then I'll go with her, but uh -huh. I feel like I'd probably like the girl that's actually, like, I don't want to say struggling, but, like, working her way to the means, like, mm -hmm. as long as I am as well, we work our way together instead of this girl having the control. Yeah. I yep. feel like she'll still have the control, and I, as a man, don't like to get me controlled, so it's kind of yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like I would definitely go with the girl that has similar you know, goals. Similar goals, but yeah, Similar goals, sure. even yeah. if you might have to take care of her for a little bit. It's fine. Aww, so, okay with that. I like that, yeah. I like that. Okay, <laughs> Francis, what about you? I mean, what kind of car she's driving? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. It's like, no, it's how like how many bedrooms? Yeah, how many bedrooms, how many bedrooms is going to be in this house? But like in the situation I'm in right now, like there was a big point where I didn't make any well near enough money to be able to 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 do what I wanted to do or what we wanted to do in a mm -hmm. relationship. And my girlfriend is very driven and she's very uh, like career orientated as much as I am. So it goes really well together. And she makes more money than me. I'm not going to sit here and say that that's not true. But she wants a big uh, bigger company than me. But 
it's not like I get the privileges that she gets. I, it drives me to want to make more money to take care of her. Mm-hmm. I want to be I want to be the person that can make the higher income, and that's not anything to do with what goes on in the environment whether a right. woman should make more. That's just me with my drive as a person to like in the way I was, the way I've been brought up. I want to take care of the person right. now with you know. What All I mean? right, look at these studs on the show no, today, no, ladies. Gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, I want to know what you guys would do. Would you be willing to quit your career if you met someone who wanted to take care of you? Comment in the section below, and we'll see you guys soon.